Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now these were whatever we have discussed so far, these were the different techniques of natural animal breeding. So you saw that everywhere the animals mated with each other. So whether it is by inbreeding or crossbreeding or outcrossing, but everywhere animals, the male and the female mated with each other. So they are all, they, are, they all uh, fall under the category of natural animal breeding techniques. Now we will talk about some controlled breeding experiments, that is some artificial techniques of breeding. So how can we actually artificially make an animal reproduce? So how is that done? Now in that we will discuss mainly two techniques. One of them is artificial insemination and the other one is going to be moit. So we will see that later. So what is artificial insemination? So it is a technique where the semen from the male is taken out of the male's body and then it is injected artificially into the female's reproductive tract. So something like this, let us suppose this is the cow that is the female. So now you have taken out the semen which contains the sperms from the bull. You have already taken that out from a superior bull and then you put it in an injection kind of a thing and then you directly inject it into the female reproductive tract. So this is known as artificial insect. Insemination. insemination means injecting the semen and artificial means it is done artificially. When is it called natural? When the bull and the cow undergoes mating and that is how insemination takes place. So that is going to be a natural method, a natural mating. That was happening in all the previous techniques. But here instead of the interaction between the bull and the cow, the semen is taken out of the bull and then it is directly injected into the female reproductive tract of the cow. Now how does it help? Now there might be certain limitations as far as natural mating is concerned. Sometimes it happens that uh, you actually need to wait for a longer period of time waiting for the animals to mate with each other naturally. Sometimes it also happens that uh, you end up wasting a lot of time uh, waiting for the bull to show interest in the cows. So there are so many different things because a lot of things depend also on the psychology of the animals. So you cannot completely control it. Whereas in case of artificial techniques, it is all under your control. So whenever you want, you can just inject the semen into the female reproductive tract. So this technique helps where normal matings are not possible. Now, this semen which is taken out from the male's body, it can also be stored for some time or it can also be transported to some other area where maybe bulls are not available or any other limitations are there as far as normal matings are concerned. So, their artificial insemination can be of extreme help. The next type of controlled breeding experiment or artificial breeding technique is moit. What is moit? It, it the full form of moit is multiple so let me write it down here this is m for multiple o is for ovulation e is for embryo and t is for technique so multiple ovulation embryo technique so what happens in moit as the name says multiple ovulation so normally what happens, any female during ovulation, that is when the egg is released by the ovary, that is called ovulation. So normally every month a female will release one egg during ovulation. But in case of this technique, what happens is some hormones are injected into the female's body because the process of ovulation is all controlled by the female hormones. Now, if that hormone is injected into the body of the female in extra amount so that instead of one egg being released, multiple eggs are released. So that is known, that is what happens in case of moit. So female is given hormones for super ovulation. Now what do we mean by super ovulation? This means that if normally it used to give one egg, now it would give almost six to eight eggs. So instead of one, you will have eight eggs. That is called super ovulation and it happens due to the action of the enzyme which is injected into the female body. Now as a result what will happen? Now this female will give that those many eggs and then the egg will get fertilized. Now that fertilization of the egg can either happen naturally by interaction between the female cow and the male bull or the 
Fertilization can also happen by artificial insemination where the semen is injected into the female's body. So now what will happen? All the eight eggs will get fertilized. Now once the eggs get fertilized, then what happens when it reaches? Now gradually it will undergo repeated division to form four cell stage, then eight cell stage, then 32 cell stage. So that process will keep on happening. Now when it becomes, when it reaches that 16 to 32 cell stage, it is taken out of the female's body and then it is transferred to different females. Now what happens as a result of this? Now earlier when only one egg was being released by the female, only one new calf was being produced or one new animal was being produced. Now when you have eight eggs and now you put those eggs inside the body of eight other cows, what happens? At the end of the period of those that time when the cow is pregnant you instead of getting one new animal you are actually getting eight new animals right so the productivity increased and this productivity increased due to super ovulation due to release of multiple eggs and multiple eggs were released due to the application of hormones so this is known as multiple em ovulation embryo technique so this technique increases the productivity with quality in short time. So the productivity obviously increases because instead of one egg, you have eight eggs. Therefore, instead of one animal, you will have eight animals. So it increased and the time is short time because the time will remain the same. The time will not increase because all those eight fertilized eggs are being transplanted into different females. So they all will give birth to the animal at the same time. So in a short time, the productivity increased and that too with quality because the quality is not getting hampered. The semen which was injected, it was of a quite superior male. So the superior male was retained. The female who, which, who, which has been selected for this process, it is a superior female. So obviously the progeny will also be of superior quality. So both quality is maintained, productivity has increased in a short period of time. So this technique is also of great importance. Now this technique is performed not only with cows but for various other animals like rabbits, buffaloes, sheep etc. So in all these animals this technique is found to be very successful. And now the other female animals where the fertilized eggs get transferred they are known as the surrogate mothers because they it is not it is they do not produce the egg but they carry the baby inside their womb for the entire gestation period. So they are called surrogate mothers. So this is how this technique moit is performed. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.